guys, welcome to Chris's Clock Shop. So in this short video, I just want to demonstrate more closely uh, for the beginner of how to let the power down on a count wheel movement like this where the spring is open. Now traditionally, you would use um, a metal C-shaped uh, clamp, which you'd actually fit over the spring after you wound it. So the first thing you do is you take your bench key, and if you look here closely, you can see there's a ratchet gear, okay? There's a ratchet gear here, and this is a click that catches on the ratchet, and then there's a wire spring, the silver spring holds the click tight against the ratchet. So as I rotate this one turn, the click will automatically catch on the ratchet, and if I let go of the power, it won't unwind. So you would wind the spring up as much as you can to still allow for a little bit of turn in the ratchet, and you'd put this C-clamp over it. However, I found in my experience that using a very good durable zip tie around the spring works a lot better and is easier to work with. So I put my zip tie on here, and now I'm gonna show you how I uh, let the power down, loosen the spring onto that zip tie. So I'm going to rotate this. So first thing I have to do is remove the silver spring from the back of that click so that when I rotate the, my ratchet with my... Now hold this tight because it's going to unwind if you don't hold it tight. So I'm going to rotate this to move that click out of the way and then I'm going to very carefully and gently allow that ratchet to unwind with the click out of the way. And what's happening is the spring is unwinding, but it can't because it catches on the zip tie. And then once it's fully uh, taut on that zip tie, all the power is being held by the tie and not the gears. So now I do that and it's safe to actually disassemble the clock the gears won't go flying everywhere because all the power is held by the zip tie. So many of you professionals already know about this, but I thought as a beginner it might be useful to show you a very detailed uh, way to do it. All right, thanks for watching.